How would you describe Dick Winnerty? He's a person of character. He's a person of goodwill. The type of person that people wanted to follow and a great leader. He's able to listen. He's able to lead. He's able to bring people together. A great spokesman for the institutions. Each one of them, he, he literally, he can speak at length about each of the institutions. But he's also, of course, the primary spokesman for Texas Medical Center. Richard Dick Winerdy has served as president of the Texas Medical Center since 1984. His hard work and leadership was paramount in transforming the complex into the world's largest medical center. Well, Dick's vision coming into the presidency of Texas Medical Center was to do his friend, uh, Richard J.V. Johnson, a favor by taking over the presidency for a couple of years <clears throat> while they searched for somebody else. <laughs> 28 years later, he's still there. He loved it, and he was making a tremendous contribution, so he decided he'd just stay. And thank heavens for that. Well, he was brave to be brought on. <laughs> he was brave, brave to go down to that little city on the Gulf. I'm glad he did. During Dr. Winerdy's 28-year tenure, the TMC has grown from 31 institutions and tripled in size. The center has welcomed presidents, kings, queens, heads of state, and political and medical leaders from around the world. The Texas Medical Center is now home to 52 institutions, encompassing 43 million square feet and 12 miles of private streets. The Texas Medical Center's size is equivalent to the nation's 11th largest business district. He's been a man that uh, came from an engineering background, and engineers are very special kinds of people. They look at the world in a more organized way and almost in a mathematical way. And Dr. Winerdy, I don't know if he was cognizant of it or not, but he used his engineering mind to say, how do we approach this from a mathematical engineering standpoint as we address uh, quality, as we address egos, as we address research, and how do we do this from a systems approach? Dick Wainerity has been involved in everything. Infrastructure has been one of his real deals, being an engineer, albeit a petroleum engineer. An engineer is an engineer, and he loves getting into the details of things like that. So that has been a blessing for us and a real contribution by him. Established in 1945, the Texas Medical Center manages the medical complex and employs nearly 97,000 people and receives more than 7 million patients a year. Richard Winerdy has worked hand in hand with the leadership of the TMC's member institutions to build an internationally renowned medical complex that is second to none. Cooperation among institutions has been a long-term goal, if not mandate, of Winerdy's. He believed this to be a critical component in expanding the impact and influence of the Texas Medical Center, both nationally and internationally. Cooperation and collaboration is very easy. That is the one thing that he has done that sets his presidency apart from any others. He's done a wonderful job of that. He has been able to take this uh, motivation and say, because we are strong egos, we can be complementary and set records and pace each other. Pace each other at a rate that causes new advances that would not have occurred had we been running alone. Richard Winerdy has overseen tremendous growth during his tenure as the Texas Medical Center's CEO and president. The intellectual capital within the education and research institutions has fueled some of the world's leading medical advancements. The economic impact of the complex within the region is estimated to be $14 billion annually. 
Perhaps more importantly, the quality of care provided by the member institutions of the TMC is unparalleled. These institutions are united in their mission to provide the best possible care. He changed my life because prior to going to Congress, uh, I was not focused on health care. It was not my focus. But after having a visit with him, wherein he explained to me that we have a sickness care system rather than a good health care system, it caused me to understand that this is something that we have to do something about. And I literally have focused more on health care because he cared enough to talk to me and to help me better understand. All the things that he started and the momentum that has begun will be continued as we all work together to do things that are good for healthcare delivery, healthcare education, and the patients of the world as we seek new knowledge and we prepare the next generation of healthcare leaders. That, that's what happens when you have people of, of ability. He has been uh, the type of person that people wanted to follow and a, a great leader. Well, I believe that uh, in another life, he could easily have been a scientist, could have been a philosopher, could have been a great human rights, civil rights advocate. I thank God he's my friend right here in Houston, Texas, because he's guided the medical center through some very difficult times, but in all of his guidance, he has always been a person that we could trust and that we knew had a steady hand on the wheel. I remember the first time I met him. Little did I know at that time what a run we were going to have and what fun it was going to be and what a real friend I was going to have in Dick Wainerty.